And we're expecting temperatures to get very hot over the next few days. We'll have your forecast. But she's hanging out in Manhattan Beach. That's pretty much the place to be. Joy. Exactly. Yeah, I hear you say 108 degrees. Rather is that they get a handle on this quickly because things are only going to warm up and things are only going to get gustier for us as we move through the next few hours. So again, this is our latest observation point to come in through Simi Valley. This station reporting 74 degrees. You will see the smoke now from our Tim Hart. You will see very smoky conditions, not seeing much in this shot uh, in Simi Valley along the 118 right there. You will see some flames there and we're seeing temperature pick up a little bit and wind picking up a little bit as well. So let's get a look right here at current conditions in the area. So we are up to 75 degrees. We're looking at sustained winds at nine miles per hour and wind gusts at 14 miles per hour. So it's getting slightly gustier, slightly warmer and humidity is going down compared to where we were just a little bit ago. We're at 40%, but we're only expecting it to get drier throughout the morning. So we will continue to keep you posted on conditions in Simi Valley. The big concern, of course, with fire weather is not the dry and not just the dryness, but also the heat. We've got triple digit heat ahead. Simi Valley expected to get up to 100 plus degrees later today. In fact, you're under an excessive heat warning starting at 1 p.m. lasting through Sunday. This does include most of our inland valleys here in Southern California. In addition to the warning, we're also looking at heat advisories kicking in later later today, lasting through 9 p.m. on Monday. So temperatures expected to stay in the triple digits. Elevated fire danger continuing over the next few days. Temperatures already up to the 60s and 70s. As we mentioned, Simi Valley, as we just said, 75 by the afternoon, 90s. That's going to be for the basin, the IE in the triple digits. Lots of triple digit heat through most of our inland valleys, and you're going to continue to see it at least through your... You know, road closures on yeah, the west right. side Especially of town, but they there. make it kind of fun. Exactly. Yeah. It's we a talk good way like to that? remember. I am not going to forget that those roads right? are closed. Let me tell you. I didn't know we had an smart. accent out here. <laughs> All right, time right now. It looks hot out there. We have live team coverage for you. CBS 2's Amy Johnson and Joy Benedict. And yeah, we're going to start with meteorologist Evelyn Taft with the latest. Rick Sandy, let's get right to it. We've got an excessive heat warning kicking in at one o'clock this afternoon. So a couple hours before we get there, but temperatures already heating up to the 80s and 90s. We could potentially even break a few records later today through our inland valleys. Heat advisories also kicking in for the mountains of the IE in Orange County, also at 1 p.m. lasting through Monday at 9 p.m. So temperatures so far look like this 70s, 80s and 90s. And later today, here's just a sampling of a few of the numbers. Studio City 107, Riverside 105, and Palmdale coming in at a hot 102. More on what to expect later in the weekend coming up. Sandy. So these I, I promise only well, sometimes. sometimes. <laughs> only sometimes. When I'm hungry. Yes. <laughs> at four in the morning they bite and then they get nicer. So you came at a good time. 1130 is like we're almost at the door and it's Friday. So everyone's in a good mood. All right, we're getting a look outside right now. You will see almost said downtown. So you have already thinking about the weekend. But take a look. This is where you should be this weekend. Honestly, temperatures are so hot all across the Southland. The beach though looking fantastic. Numbers in the 80s at the coast. The other place to get away from the heat would be the mountains. That's where we're looking at 80s and 80s. That is cool compared to the triple digits. We're pretty much expecting across the board for most of our inland valleys. We've got excessive heat warnings kicking in at 1 p.m. just under two hours away, and we also have advisories kicking in as well, but we don't need the advisories or the warnings at this point to know that it is already hot out there. But what does it mean when we have advisories and warnings? Temperatures are going to be up to about 100 to even 108 degrees for the valleys, the coasts, 80s, for the uh, basin, temperatures in the 90s as we head into the next few hours and the next few days as well. So again, very hot temperatures. I do want to mention a few outliers. For example, Palm Springs getting up to 116, then 117 this weekend. So again, that's a big one. And I will tell you, record-breaking heat is possible. Today, for example, Woodland Hills slated to get up to 107. Uh, looks like the record to beats 108. So we're getting close to those records. Elevated fire danger concern. We did have a brush fire earlier this morning in 
Simi Valley. We've got hot and dry conditions, so that's something to watch out for for the remainder of the weekend here and excessive heat lasting at least through Monday. Don't forget, stay hydrated. I know it sounds straightforward. Stay out of the sun if you can. Watch out for kids, elderly pets, all something to keep in mind. Temperatures right now in the 70s and 80s. By the afternoon, we are up to the 90s in the basin. That's nothing compared to the triple digits we're expecting in our inland valleys. The IE included spots like La Puente, El Monte, both at 102, 106 Santa Clarita, San Fernando and Northridge both topping out at 107. Couple seven day microclimate forecast to show you right here for the mountains. Again, that's the place to be above 6,000 feet, especially and the coast. And you will see triple digit heat lasting today through Sunday, Monday, slightly cooler, but bare.